Hey golfers, Britt Sherrock here, and today's lesson is going to cover a drill that I teach every golfer, young and old, new or advanced, and everyone in between. It is a drill that I call the slap shot drill. You've probably seen me doing it a lot before on my social media pages, but it is a great drill that helps simplify the golf swing into three simple steps and helps the golfer get into the right positions, have the perfect sequence, but also ensure that they are swinging on the right plane and path every time. So we're going to go through this drill position by position, and uh, it's going to help simplify the process. So let's get started. Okay, golfers, let's get into step one of the slap shot drill. In this drill, we're going to go through step by step the positions that you need to get into, but these positions are also going to be called position phrases. So uh, a position phrase to me is a relatable term to something else that you've done before that helps your body snap right into that perfect position, whether it be fishing, baseball, tennis, any other sport or any other relatable uh, uh, physical action can be used to help your golf swing. So the setup of this drill goes like this. We're going to split apart our grip like we're holding a hockey stick. And if you've noticed, there's a lot of ex-NHL players out there and current ones as well that are good at golf. Uh, the actual slap shot in hockey and the golf swing to me are very similar. So um, here we go. Step one. What we're going to do here is we're going to rotate our body just like this. And our split grip is going to help us get some spacing and straightening of this lead arm and get a nice 90 degree angle. Uh, we want to have that space here as we go back so that our lead arm's not breaking down and losing that space. So what this is also doing for us is getting a big body rotation where our lead shoulder is getting to our trailing foot. Uh, it helps me really rotate my hips. And when I get a golfer that slides their hips like this, I take them through this drill and it almost eliminates that slide right away. So, uh, Let's look at it from down the line. If I turn to the top, we're going to get right into that first position phrase, and that is hold the tray. This trail arm needs to be under like this where our trailing palm is facing up. Uh, you'll also see the shaft is on a 45 degree angle. This helps the golfer get the club in the right position so they're not standing it up like this or getting it too laid off. Where they rotate and they're right on plane at the top. So. That's step one. Let's get into step two next. Okay, golfers, here we go with step two. If you've ever taken a golf lesson from me, you've heard this phrase a million times. And that phrase is hit the wall. You may be thinking, what does that mean? Well, hit the wall means this. Let me show you. So as I get up here to the top, I'm going to get into step one. Then I'm going to bring my arms right back down and I'm going to imagine that there's a wall here on my lead side. I'm going to crash that grip into the wall and that is hit the wall. What this is doing for me is getting this trail arm back into my trail hip so that my hips aren't outrunning my hands and arms and club. That's the, you know, a proper sequence that we need to have in the golf swing. It's also helping me get this lead arm in front of my lead leg so that I can create that lag. You'll see this 90 degree angle in my arm and prevents me from casting the golf club like this. So hit the wall from the face on looks like this. Down the line. If we get up here to the top and hit that wall, we're going to get the club right down the line pointed at my target. If you're a golfer that slices the ball and comes way over the top like this, this is going to help you eliminate that over-the-top move because it would feel very awkward to do it like this. What you can also try to do is feel that you're going to point the grip more to right field or right of the target, and that will get the club more from the inside and hopefully help you hit that draw. So that's step two, hit the wall. You'll hear that a lot in these videos moving forward. Let's get to the last step next. Okay, guys, let's get into the final step of the slap shot drill. Now, I mentioned that this drill has three steps, but we're going to go into the modified finish first, and that's going to help you rotate your body a little bit better and clear your lead side. 
So a lot of golfers, when they swing down, they get early extension. And that means that their hips are standing up, hips and butt are coming into the golf ball. We obviously don't want to do that. You can see how that really changes my posture. So what we really want to accomplish is maintaining our posture, rotating our body where we have this angle in our trailing leg. So let's get into the slap shot. What you're going to feel after you get to the top, you're going to hit the wall and then you're going to rotate your body to the target where your trailing knees pointed at the golf ball. My belt buckle is facing the target. My chest is facing the target. Let's look at it from this view. So I'm going to turn, hit the wall, and then I'm rotating. This is going to clear my lead side, help me feel that I can point my uh, trailing shoulder, right shoulder, at the golf ball so that I'm not coming over the top. I want to stay in that posture and rotate. So that's the modified version of the finish. Let's get to the finish next. Okay, guys, this is the very last step of the drill, and that's the finish. How do you get into your uh, completed finish with that slap shot setup. So what you're gonna do is start again, slap shot grip. You're gonna rotate to the top. Then you're gonna hit the wall. After you hit this wall, this trailing hand's gonna slide back into position. Your arms are gonna release to the target and we're gonna wrap to the finish. What this is doing for you guys is allowing you to Get this lead arm out in front of the club head so that you're not casting and flipping like so. But it also gets this trailing arm just sliding and going along for the ride. We want to be more dominant and pulling with our lead side, and this drill does that very well. It almost makes you swing the golf club with your lead arm. So... I'm going to slide around to the finish. What this is also getting you to feel is proper rotation in this lead arm so that I'm not getting a chicken wing like this and, you know, leaving that club face open to the right. So let's go through it again. All right, guys, that's the slap shot drill. Hopefully that helps you. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel like my social media pages, and you guys are going to get a lot of updates on new content. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks.